Mrs. Hot and Miss Shangma, we welcome you to our Positive Action Weekly Lesson. La señora Hot y Shangma os damos la bienvenida a las clases semanales de Positive Action. Thank you at your home, school and community for joining us today for the second grade Positive Action Lesson. Tanto si estáis en casa como en la escuela, gracias. Gracias por acompañarnos en los vídeos de Acción Positiva para Segundo de Primaria. ¡Let's get started! ¡Empecemos! ¡Empecemos! Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Woohoo! It's time for Positive Actions. Hola. Ah, es sola acción. Positiva. Awesome! Good morning, Possum Partners and Super Scholars. Mrs. Hot here with... Miss Shema. Hi, Miss Shema. <laughs> and we are so excited to join you for our weekly Positive Action Virtual Lesson. We welcome you, whether you are in your classroom with your teacher, or at home for Virtual Academy, or maybe you're out in the community. The Morgan County Partnership is so happy that you are here with us on PositiveValuesNetwork.com. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Ms. Shema? I'm ready, Ms. Let's get started. Here's what we're going to do today, Ms. Shema. It is time for Positive Values Network News. Today for our virtual lesson, first, we are going to watch a really super duper cute video where we're going to hear about the word humility and also talk about talk about the word humility. <laughs> After that, we're going to talk about some positive actions and then Miss Shema has a, an adorable activity for you. And then we're going to close learning how to say humility in Spanish. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's get started. Hello and welcome to Treasure Champs. Today's treasure is humility, which means not thinking you're better than everybody else. Hey Barry, why don't we put on a show? Great! Carrie and her ukulele show. Ah, it can't be called that because I have a ukulele too. Hmm, good point. Maybe we should call it Carrie and the two ukuleles. <coughs> Just the Carrie show? <laughs> My name should be in the title of the show too, but I didn't like to say. Oh, you were being humble. <laughs> Wait, did you say that that was today's treasure? Humility. Having self-respect is when you believe in yourself. Self-respect is when you look after yourself. I take care of myself by um, cleaning my teeth, being nice to people, eating the right food and, and doing exercise. I am proud of myself because I got 10 out of 10 in my spellings. I was proud of myself when I got my 25 metre swimming badge. I am proud of myself because I behave good around other people. Oh, wow, Miss Shema. What did you think of that video? What, what about the cartoon? Can you tell us about it? Well, the cartoon, they, they were fun too and funny at the same time because 
didn't... She wants to play the ukulele all like all by herself. She wants to do the band all in her name, but they were a team. But she didn't think in her peer. So she was just me, 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 me all the time. There you go. Did you hear that, Super Scholars, what Miss Shama said? She was all me, 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 the whole time, right? And they both had a ukulele to play together. And humility, Super Scholars, we need humility because we need to think about the other person's ability as well. Now, humility means this. It is the ability to consider others before yourself. And last week, Super Scholars, we talked about respect and about respecting other people's traditions and values and their differences. And humility means we're going to respect them by considering them first. And why do you think that's so important? Do you know? Because sometimes that's hard because we want to show that we're the best. Like, I'm the fastest Mrs. Hot ever. See how fast I am? Right? And I can jump the highest and right all that stuff we want to think that we're the best at everything but having humility takes a step back and you consider the abilities of others because the reason we do that is because we just we discover and we value that person's uniqueness and you value that person's talents and that's important right Miss Shema yes are you ready for some positive actions about humility? For sure, I'm always ready for positive actions. Miss Shema! Oh, Miss Shema! Where'd Mrs. Hot go? Mrs. Hot! Mrs. Hot! Oh, boys and girls, she's gone! Well, I know what some positive actions are for humility. Now, once again, boys and girls, humility means the ability to consider others before yourself. So, here's what we want to remember, some positive actions. Are you ready, Mrs. Shema? I am ready, Perry. <laughs> okay, think of the word humble. Humble. First positive action. Be humble. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Being humble means to have humility, to think of other people first. That's when you're humble. Oh, like that girl in that video. She wanted to be all about her. Oh, Mrs. Shamer, you know what? On my soccer team, there's a kid who is a ball hog. He never shares the ball, and he never gives us a turn. He's not very humble. And, and, you want to know how that makes me feel? How it makes you feel, Perry? Aww. It makes me feel like they don't value me because I can hit the ball too. I can kick it. Yeah. Mrs. Hot knows her. Yeah, he does, Miss Shaman. He does kick the ball. So, if, I, if that person would be humble, he could see that I can do it too. So, be humble and give other people a chance before you. And the next one, H-U. For you, be upright. So, oh, Miss Shama, you know what that means? Upright? Hmm. When, when you are upright, that means you have good values. You are trusting. You can be trusted and you respect others. And you're honest. We need to be honest, right? Yeah, you're honest. Next is for M, modest. Oh, be modest, yes. Don't brag about, oh, I'm the best soccer player, ha. No, being modest means you, you're you modest about your skills and you because that makes other people feel bad. So you be modest, that's important. The next one is a, for be a big heart. Yes, that means to be loving. People with humility are loving people. And we need that in our community. Yes, we do. And then finally for E, empathetic. That's a great value word too. We need to put ourselves in others' shoes. Oh, hey. 
Hey Perry, yeah, put it put in your did you hear what he said? Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Miss Shema, I got my favorite boots on today, see? You put yourself in someone else's shoes. And if someone puts them, them in my shoes, they understand me better. That's what that means. Take a walk in my shoes. So, Perry, I am so proud of you. You did a really good job. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Hyde. I tried my best. Now, do you see that, boys and girls? Perry didn't brag about his positive actions, did he? He said thank you, and that's being, that's having humility, okay? All right, okay, well, Mrs. Hot, yes? Mrs. Hot, I gotta go right now because I heard that you have a great activity! Gonna go get my crayons, see you, say bye-bye! <laughs> that's right! <laughs> so next, we do, guys, like Perry said, we have an awesome activity. Are you ready to check it out? Grab your markers, crayons, or colored pencils, and let's do a positive action activity with Miss Shema. Here we go. Humility means the ability to consider others ahead of self. We're gonna color and post this week's activity using the word humble, with each letter standing for a positive action. Be honest, upright, modest, big hearted, loving, and empathetic. And then check each positive action when you do it this week. Be courteous. Say please and thank you. Say you're sorry and mean it. Listen first, show respect. Be humble today, be honest, obedient, kind, passionate, generous, patient, and again, have empathy for others. Put yourself in their shoes. Take your positive action activity and add it to respect with positive core values to help us unify our community. When you do a positive action, Miss Shema and Mrs. Hot, we want you to check it off. And we want you to practice humility this week. Think of others before you think of yourself. You'll have a good feeling and you'll make them feel good too. See you next week and remember, grab a sibling and let's color together. Let's see which positive action Shema did. Say please and thank you. She said sorry. She is honest and shows respect and has empathy for you. You can too. Beautiful. Hi everyone, it's Miss Lacey here from Woodmire Elementary School where I'm the school therapist sharing with you all our doodle quote of the week and our doodle activity. This positive action words this week is humility. And the quote is, humility isn't denying your strengths, it's being honest about your weaknesses. And that's a quote from Rick Warren. Here's the doodle sheet. Again, I encourage you to decorate it, color it, hang it in a window, give it to a neighbor, um, whoever you feel could use a positive action word this week. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll see you soon. Thank you. That was a fun activity. Miss Shema, thank you for doing these activities for us. And Super Scholars, Miss Shema is so creative when she makes digital art for us. Isn't that cool? Thanks for that. Mrs. Hot, and everything is thanks to you. You are the brain of everything. You give me the ideas and we put it together. We are a team. That's right, see? And I'm glad you said that, Miss Shema. Just like in the video you saw, the two ukulele players, they were a team together and they were better together as two. And just like Miss Shema and I, we're a team together and we help each other be our best. Right, Miss Shema? Big virtual hug. Yeah. All right, now we need Miss Shema's help, Super Scholars. Can you teach us how to say humility in Spanish? 
For sure, super scholars and Mrs. Hot. Humility in Spanish, it's kind of the same because started with the same letter. So, listen. Humility in English and Spanish is humildad. Let's say it together. Humildad. 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 Did I do it right? Everybody do it with me too. Humildad. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you, Miss Shema. All right, Super Scholars, remember your positive actions this week for humility. Stay humble, be upright and honest, tell the truth. Always be modest, don't be a bragger. Be big hearted, be loving, and show empathy. Here we go. <laughs> you cut that right. You are unique, you are important. You are wonderfully made and you have humility. And the, and the last thing I want to share with you, humility is a beautiful core value. It's so important now more than ever. Okay, super scholars? It means the ability to consider others ahead of yourself, okay? And you might hear a lot of people talking about masks. I have a couple of mine right here, right? And it's really important, guys, keep wearing that mask and encourage them because it's showing humility. It's showing that you're considering someone else's health before yours, okay? So please wear the mask. We're so close to everybody getting better and past COVID, but we're not there yet. Don't give up. Miss Shame and I, we know you can do it with these great positive actions. Be humble. Think of that person and put your mask on, right? See ya. And before we go Super Scholars, we want to thank you all for joining us for the Positive Action Assembly last Wednesday, where we did a science experience with the scientist Ivy Shaw. And thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Fox students and all the students that you send your questions to our scientists. We hope you have a great day. Thank you. We are so glad you joined us today from your home, your school, and our community. Estamos muy felices porque nos habéis acompañado desde vuestra escuela, vuestra casa, vuestra comunidad. Remember, you are unique, you are important, and you are wonderful. Recordad que sois especiales, importantes, y maravillosos. This is going to be